channel I am the Ink Northerner and today I will be back on um, on forum with talking about games rather than um, rather than actually talking about uh, the films that I've put out in my last video I want to put our Halloween kind of special given that we're at this time of year um, and rather than going over a horror game series or horror film series uh, sorry horror game series or games that were related to films around horror I thought I would just put out a, a film a film series it's another one of my passions um, not quite as much as my, my gaming passion has become recently but I just I wanted to, to put something out now that I've got my voice back um, what I'm wanting to do first of all though with this video is to provide some shout outs or shout backs should I say uh, there have been a few channels that have, have given me shout outs that have led me to gain more um, more subscribers um, I've gained quite a few and then YouTube took quite a few off me I'm not quite sure what was going on there but um, in no particular order as to, to how the shout outs went and if I get first names mixed up or wrong I apologise I will correct them if I need to um, so first up I want to and shout back at Rob on Gernardino Plays he was one of the first to give me a shout out it led to a lot of people joining my channel um, YouTube then seems to take quite a few of those people off me it started to creep back up now with further shout outs I've had I've also received a shout out from Yorkshireman66 um, Mark um, who makes some really good videos despite being wrong side of the Pennines for me and then we have, I want to say it's Steve at Cooper's World. Um, if I've got that incorrect, I apologise. Hit me up in the comments and tell me I'm an idiot. Uh, and then finally, Russ at the Retro Bear. Um, all four of you guys have been great. And the one thing that I have found from from making these films, these films, these videos, which they were films, um, is that there's quite a a quiet community in the UK uh, and I want to try and, and and make some inroads with that community as well so on to my pickups so these are what I'm going to be giving you today are the pickups that I've had from CEX uh, in the month of October uh, I appreciate that I'm probably going to put this out sort of before the beginning of November but I don't see me going back to to CEX in the next few days in order to make some pickups um, if I do I'll put them in with, with November's pickups but I've got 19 games to go through one of them I'm very disappointed in myself but possibly two of them now I've had a look over them um, however I'll explain my disappointment and then I'll explain how I might rectify it I'm going to start with PS3 move on to the Wii a bit of 360, a bit of original Xbox and then that'll be the, the end of these. So in no particular order other than this, the uh, order of the, the systems that I've said. First up, we have Resident Evil 5. <coughs> now I paid £3.50 for this, as can be seen here. It's the gold edition, so it has a lot of extras with it. It is complete in manual. Resident Evil 5 isn't a Resident Evil I've played. Um, this includes Lost in Nightmares, Desperate Escape versus the Mercenaries Reunion, some extra figures, costume pack one and two. It says you've got to unlock those playing it. Um, I bought a few of the Res Evil games. I have Res Evil 5 on 360 uh, because it's backwards compatible, I think. Um, and I, I think that's why I bought it. Uh, and I, I saw this gold edition and I wanted to get it for PS3 as well because I'm interested in seeing how whether I can boost my trophy on trophy count on the PS on the PlayStation as well. Um, as I've said several times, I pre-ordered the Xbox Series X. I will eventually buy the PS5. Um, maybe I'll buy that digitally. I'm not 100 percent sure. It depends on how the backwards compatible stuff looks. Um, but yeah, it's in good shape. A couple of labels that will need removing, but it's complete with manual, as I say. Um, all in all, decent enough pickup. <clears throat> Next one, keeping in, in fitting with the, the horror season that we are in, um, I have Aliens vs Predator. Now, I don't know much about the game, I know the films were good, the 
it seems there's a three week um, sort of single player campaign I assume you will play as aliens, predators and also the marines again complete in box with manual it has uh, a blu-ray disc attack a bit in there it's got obviously it's got a game sticker on which isn't the best but um, but yeah uh, I think the reason I like getting the PlayStation 3 and the 360 sometimes the 360 is a dual disc and it's obviously a lot better to play it on a single blu-ray uh, which the Xbox one took care of now next up is um, a game in a series I own one and two, um, or I think it's Fall of Man and, and Resistance Two or whatever they call. But I have Resistance Three, so again in keeping with the um, the horror theme that we're going from. Uh, this does seem to have reversible artwork, so you can get you can do away with a lot of the the video art that's on the side I will probably reverse this if I'm honest um, it's a nice looking game nice looking disc has the manual um, I just need to start getting into some of these games that I'm buying I've, I've, I've kind of uh, taken stock of myself and I think I'm going to start buying games that I will play for systems that I other than my backwards compatible Xbox collection um, things like the Wii U even the Wii to a degree uh, although given some of the pickups that you'll see um, I, I, I probably just bought things for buying things so this game I purchased because it was a pound and it had a very very famous director's name attached to it and that is Boom Blocks as you can see it's a Steven Spielberg EA game I don't know how much involvement Spielberg had in it <clears throat> um, it seems like a Jenga style game where you, you knock blocks out or you blast blocks I assume um, a lot of Wii motion controls from the videos I've watched um, no doubt the retro bear will be able to tell me more about it um, but it's a puzzle game and I, I don't mind my puzzle game so I decided to pick it up next up a game I've definitely played, I enjoyed the art style in this game, I had it years ago uh, back when I got rid of all my well, I didn't get rid of it um, an ex-partner took all my my games for it with her, with her children but um, it's besides point I'm over that now um, and we have Mad World I really like the art style in this it's a great art style in terms of the black and white with just the, the blood it, it, it hits on to the um, the the film struck comic book at the time Sin City style it is complete in box with manual um, the, the disc was in good condition I, I know that the guys at the CX were to pick these things up my local CX are good guys which is where I'll, I'll come on to, to where I've been an idiot and I, how I may correct that um, this next one is definitely one for the retro bird because I'm pretty sure he said in one of his his Wii videos that I've watched if nobody um, if, if people own Wii's and they don't have this game uh, then there's something wrong and I picked up a copy of Ghost Squad uh, again another one of those games I've played um, fun on rail shooter um, this again complete in box with manual um, it's a Sega game from what I remember about playing it it was a good game to play uh, I probably will get back into some of the, the on-rail shooters that are on the Wii. Um, less so some of the things that I pick up, but I, I will get it back into some sort of drink. So, we will move on to the 360. These games are all games I picked up because of the backwards compatibility element. Um, one of them struck two of them now I look at them is where I've been a bit of an idiot and I just didn't notice when I picked them up uh, I'll I'll have a talk about that in a minute uh, just reorganize these to where I think and, and then I'll explain so first off we have Dead Rising 2 off the record I paid a pound for this now initially I thought this was just a DLC um, 
uh, on reflection, I think it's sort of doing the Dead Rising 2 campaign from the Frank West point of view. Um, the Dead Rising games are, are good games. Uh, I've uh, completed the first one, completed Dead Rising 2, um, haven't done much of the DLC. I own 3 and 4 on the um, Xbox One, I think. Um, and again, this is another backwards compatible game. It's great going around, picking things up, building weapons, um, just all around great, great set of games. Uh, again, in, in keeping with the, the horror theme that we've got uh, going on at this minute, um, that was complete in box with manual. So, next up, we have one of a series that is now synonymous with the Xbox, and that is Gears of War Judgment. So, I have all of these digitally. Um, this seems to have some DLC packs that might have been included that they've all been scratched off, so I assume that they've all gone, but again, I own them digitally. Um, no manual, but I don't think this came with a manual. Um, judging by the inside, it seems to have sort of the, the writing on the inside. Um, again, wasn't an expensive game. None of these are truly expensive. Uh, I think my original Xbox ones are probably the ones where it's got the most expensive. Um, I apologise about the pings through. Those are notifications. Windows has decided to go mental. Um, but yeah, £2 game. I think this is the last of the Gears uh, games that I need to just make up the physical stuff. All them all digitally played them. Not a massive fan of them, the whole style of it. I really need to, to play it again to get into it. So, next up, um, I, I, I don't know much about the game, and I don't want to go out on a limb and say it is linked to a game that was on the PlayStation 1. Um, I'm just assuming it is based on the title and the style. Um, I'm sure it's linked to sort of I think it's Wild Arms or one of the games that's on my classic PS1. I can't remember which one it was, but I have a copy of Enchanted Arms. So it's again, it's a um, it looks like a, an RPG in the style of uh, of a Final Fantasy. Please feel free to, to correct me in the comments um, paid £4 for this, it is complete in box with manual has a bit of sticker residue on it that I need to take off, I'll probably do that while, when I'm doing the rest of the CEX stickers but the box is in good condition all clicks together um, I'm happy with it so we have 2, 4 6, 8 10 games left on this, uh, just kill some of these notifications a second. Um, we'll go with the earlier one of these two games. Um, this is a 2008 game, and it's the 2008 Prince of Persia. Now, the Prince of Persia series is a good series of games, um, complete in box with manual. Um, the box is a, is a bit beaten up some sticker residue on it, it looks like it's come from a cash converters based on these stickers. I'll clean it up with some sticky stuff remover, see what happens. The disc is fine. Um, I'm sure I played this when it first came out, it's 12 years old, I don't really remember it if I did. I'm finding out with quite a few games that I'm, I'm coming across at the minute where I've I played them at some point and then I put them in and think I've not played them, start playing and Lo and behold, oh yeah, I remember this. Um, I did it with um, a Hitman game, I think, or something along those lines the other the other day. I was like, oh yeah, I played this. Um, so next, another game in the Prince of Persia series. We have Prince of Persia: Forgotten Sands. Uh, I paid two pound fifty for it. Um, again, complete inbox with manual. Um, for, this is the one of the Prince of Persia series on the 360 that I remember. Uh, there's a lot of the run across the wall elements of it. Um, I, a lot of the the, <clears throat> the fighting style. I think that was probably about 2012. Did I say? Um, no, 2010. Um, it's an Ubisoft game. 
some, do some good, good action stuff. Now, this is a game I know nothing about. I must have picked this up because it <coughs> it's backwards compatible or is going backwards compatible. And that is Divinity 2, the Dragon Knight Saga. I paid £4 for this. Um, again, not knowing much about it. It is complete in box with a weighty manual um, you two complete adventures for over 100 hours of gameplay hundreds of weapon pieces fight your enemies on the ground Christmas sky using your dragon form um, looks like a, an RPG in the realm of a, a dragon age or a Skyrim possibly not as um, not as in depth as those, although 100 hours is a reasonable amount of, reasonable, it's a great amount of gameplay. Um, again, I'm not a big racing fan, however, pick this up because it is another one of those that's going backwards compatible, and that is Need for Speed to Run. Now, <coughs> unfortunately, this is not, com uh, this is complete box with manual, but the manual is just a, a piece of paper. Um, it does also have an online pass which I think is all gone and includes my receipt um, there's a if anybody picks it up there's an entry for a giveaway there if you want to jump on it jump on it if you see it um, a Need for Speed is not a series I know much about um, it's a series I've wanted to try and get into it's a very arcade racery type um, however I guess I, I need to I need to work on some of the some of these games. So next up is one of a trilogy of games, um, and that is Mass Effect Three. I think this is the last Mass Effect game that I need. I played one and two. Remember one and two greatly. Again, reversible cover with some dodgy. That's not dodgy because that's supposed to happen, but with a dodgy paper manual. Um, the one thing I remember about the Mass Effect series is the shepherd that you play in Mass Effect is your shepherd. So you, the, from memory, the one that you create in the first game, you can carry it through to two and then carry it through to three. So whatever you've done in one, carries through to two, carries through to three. So you could create a shepherd that looks different to a lot of people. The shepherd on the cover, I want to say, was modelled on a... Danish model. I might be remembering that wrong. I'm sure, it was Danish. Don't quote me. Could be, but definitely European male supermodel. So now on to the two that I have possibly, well, I have been an idiot with. Um, the first one I didn't notice this when I picked it up because I think I picked it up in a rush, um, and I picked up Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, but. If you look there, it's actually got a ripped case. And I assume because people have turned the map inside out, so you can see uh, when I work out my left and right on camera, you can see the ripping there. Now, it has the manual, it come from game. I have played some Need for, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Um, it's a decent enough racing game. I'll explain how I will try and correct that in a minute. Now my next piece of idiocy. Um, paid £8 for this game and then did not realise that it was a cover reprinted. So it is Midway Arcade Origins um, and it has no manual. Now I'm lucky enough to have a decent relationship with the guys at my local CEX didn't get that from a local one or the the other Need for Speed game. Um, what I will try and do is when I notice one going into my local store, have a chat with them, see if I can get the manual and swap the cover out. They are good guys like that, my local guys. Um, and hopefully at some point I can try and give them a shout out as to where they are and then people will work out which town I'm, I live near. Not that it's hard with my accent. Um, last three games all original Xbox, all, uh, all CEX, most expensive one being £6, I'll leave that to last. 
and the first one was an obvious pick up uh, I owned it years ago but I had to pick it up again given that I'm a wrestling fan and that is Wrestlemania 21 um, I paid a pound for it I know the wrestling games on your OG Xbox are not the best but it's complete in box with manual it has its insert um, I'm I, I like wrestling so I'll, I'll play it um, final game before I get to the most expensive one so it's not the final game it's the second to, uh, second to last um, unfortunately the case of this is broken the manual is pretty damaged um, now again I didn't get this in my local CEX it's got a strange case to it um, and I didn't notice it was broke either at the top but we have Dukes of Hazard, uh, Return of the General Lee. I only paid £2 for it, so it's not too bad. I get a case swap going, probably find a manual at some point. Um, I'm not overly bothered as long as the games play, but you know I would like them to be in better condition. Haven't played this, um, no nothing about it. I know bits about the, the, the TV show not quite old enough to remember it despite being relatively old compared to some of my peers um, so final game uh, in this video um, we have a Mortal Kombat game that I've not played know nothing about I was aware of the other ones that were on the series uh, on the Xbox but this is Shaolin Monks so um, yeah I I don't know anything really about this. Um, it is complete in boxwood manual, which is good. The case is good on it. It's not a reprinted cover or anything. Um, a bit of a nick, but it's nothing major for a game of its age. Um, yeah, I've not played it. I don't know anything really about it. It looks very much like Goro is the big bad in this, but I could be wrong. Um, so the big boss battles with Goro, Baraka, Scorpion and others but given the front cover right down in that corner you can see Goro um, with Liu Kang and I want to say his name but I can't remember his name Kung Lao um, so yeah I, I picked it up because it, it, was on a, a, it was on sort of the wish list of games to play I'm, I might try and pick up some some more fighting games um, I fancy some of the Street Fighter Alpha stuff for Dreamcast um, maybe see what I can get on Saturn fighting wise uh, so that's the end of the, the pickups for from CEX for the month of, of October again I want to give a final shout out to the whole of the, the community in the UK it's been great seeing everybody comment on my videos welcome me into the community guys giving me shout outs um, and hopefully down the line you know I can kind of return that favour if if there's new people coming into the community and and, and the way things go I'm going to try and keep most of my video content gaming uh, I, I know I did the, the one video of, about film probably maybe maybe dropping a bit of, of wrestling but try and tie it to the games but overall, um, I am actually loving making these videos. Um, it's fun for me, and it's good seeing that people are actually getting uh, an enjoyment out of it. So, as an ending, I want to say thank you to everybody once again. And I have been the Ink Northerner, and I'll catch you on the next one.